How do you constantly date multiple girls daily without spending a lot of money? What about for guys that are broke or if you're on a budget or you just don't wanna go spend a lot by going through the dating process? In this video, I'm going to clear up myths around how much you need to spend on girls for going on dates and if you get more serious with them. And I'm going to give you an actionable game plan for how to date a lot of girls or go on a lot of dates at once without spending very much money. What we got? What's the, what's the damage? I hate all this shit. Give me a look. Fuck. Fuck, those Jaeger ones were expensive. 140? Oh, wait, it's a service charge. Take the service charge out. Oh, no, we'll pay the service charge. Now that is actually what I get. All right, so the bill came out to 140. It sounds like an English accent. So it's 140 pounds. And then he says, oh, we can just take out the tip because that was included in the 140. We can take out the tip and that'll be cheaper. And the girl's like, no, no, let's pay the service charge. And the guy's just trying to save money. So he's going to look really bad to the girl in that situation because he's going to look very cheap. Girls grill me about a bit. Like, I don't, I don't care about paying tips. You've got to give a tip. Is something which you can save some money on. I think that's a natural instinct to make, um, to save as much money as you humanly can. That's a natural instinct. Do you want to go split? I mean, You'll pay for the oh, egg egg here. Shall I go? Okay, and then he makes it even worse, right? He's, he's saying, let's not pay the tip so he looks cheap. And then he says, let's split the whole bill. If they're gonna include the tip, he wants to split the whole bill. So now he looks even more cheap, right? You don't wanna get into these situations with girls because it's gonna completely blow out the interaction in a lot of cases. Even if you were having a good date up until this point, the girl's gonna label you a cheap guy. I wanna tell a quick story. I had a, a boot camp in London where a guy ran like a textbook perfect interaction, right? He opened strong, he isolated the girl from her friends over to the bar and they ordered a couple of drinks and they started kissing while they're waiting for the drinks. And it looked really, really good. It looked like he was probably gonna pull the girl. And then when the bill came for the drinks, he asked her to pay, okay? Because he thought, oh, I don't wanna be a provider. I don't wanna be a guy that just hands stuff out to girls. And he took it a step further and he asked her to pay for both the drinks. And the girl paid and then left and basically told him to fuck off. He otherwise would have probably taken that girl home or at least got her out on a date later. So how do you get around that situation and how do you keep the costs down on dates? So tip number one, you want to stick to coffee and drink dates for the first date. Casual environment where you can get to know the girl. If you get one coffee each, it's typically gonna be like 10 bucks or less. If you get a fancy coffee, it'll be slightly more, but anyone can afford that. If you go for a drink date, you can keep it to one to two drinks maximum. You don't need to go to a fancy place. Okay, that's gonna probably be under 20 bucks. And if you're going on lots of dates, you can also be inviting the girls straight to the house. I have text sequences for how to invite them straight to the house. And when they come straight to the house, you can split a bottle of cheap wine or you can just hang out. You can relax and talk more. I've quit drinking for the past four years and I just invite girls. I say, hey, we can relax and talk more in my new place and see how the chemistry is. Do you need me to call you an Uber? And then your cost would just be whatever the Uber is. Or if you have a car, you can pick her up or she can drive if she has a car. Okay, but that's how you can keep the cost down on dates is coffee and drinks. If you wanna learn my secrets for inviting girls straight to the house, the exact text sequences, it's in my do-it-yourself product, The Leads Machine, or you can join the eight-week program and you get access to it there as well. Okay, so you can click on the link in the info card in the upper left corner or the link in the description and talk to someone on my team about the options for getting access to that as well as my full system. When you're going on like second and third dates with girls, it can be a good idea to take them out for public food to keep costs down, you can keep it, again, something cheaper like Mexican or sushi or non-fancy Italian. You don't want to ask the girl to split the bill until she's a regular. And even then it's optional. A lot of girls are gonna expect the guy to pay. So I recommend paying on the first date. And again, do coffee or drinks the first date to keep the cost down. If you start to get more serious with the girl and see her more often, you can take her out to more expensive places. That's totally up to you, but you don't have to. And if you're going to go the route of asking them to split it, it's better to do that after you've already gotten a little more serious with them. You can pay for the initial date or the initial set of dates and then say, hey, is it cool if we split it? And you should also consider their financial situation. In the US, it's more on the guy to pay, but in European countries where I've lived, if the girl earns more than the guy or the guy's a student, right? Oftentimes the girl will offer to pay or she'll be open to splitting it, okay? Because she's earning more. You can't go wrong, right? Just paying the bill on the first date. And the same goes true if you 
isolate a girl in the club over to the bar or you say hey let's go to the bar to get a drink it's expected that you get her a drink now if the girl demands a drink hey you should get me a drink hey you should get me a, me and my friends a drink that's something different that can be rude and that can be the girl just trying to use the guy potentially i've had situations i've been out so many times in nightclubs where the girl says hey can you give me a drink and, and for my friends over here as well can you get them all drinks too and that's a little bit overstepping bounds for a girl that you're not seeing for just a random girl that you're talking to in the club i have lots of students that have a very tight budget and by doing the coffee and drink dates and inviting straight to the house and doing some activity at the house you can really really keep the cost down now i can tell you for sure that most girls don't care about how much money you make unless they're a gold digger things change if you're living below the poverty line right if you can't afford basic things like you can't afford food or right you have no place to stay stuff like that but as long as you're not living below the poverty line how much you make is going to be largely irrelevant the girl doesn't know how much you make nor does she really care okay i've dated tons and tons and tons of girls there's this popular opinion out there that the more money you have the more the girl will like you or the more options you'll have and that's simply false okay i get a bunch of clients that are very very rich that have no success with girls at all because getting money doesn't magically teach you how to have an interaction it doesn't teach you how to run a date or write your text messages or set up your tinder profile etc etc okay you need my system and the strategic and tactical elements for setting up all those pieces optimally so you can maximize your chances of successful results with more girls okay to get access to that system you can book a free 30 minute call with the link in the upper left corner or in the description someone from my team will diagnose exactly where you're at in the dating game and give you a customized game plan for fixing all the problems as quickly as possible and helping you accomplish all your goals in the game as quickly as possible don't worry about how much money you're making and also don't care about you know trying to show off you don't need to impress the girl with a nice car or a nice watch or dressing up a whole you know super fancy for the first date you can keep things very casual for the first date your attire can just be jeans and a button-down shirt or jeans and a t-shirt as long as it fits it doesn't need to be some extravagant thing where you're wearing a blazer and all this stuff and you don't need to take them out for a fancy dinner on the first date as well if a girl is insisting that she wants to go out for dinner then that might be a gold digger so i'll just say to them if she's insisting on dinner i'll say hey let's just keep it casual and low-key and just stick with coffee or drinks so we can get to know each other in that kind of environment before we go into something more formal and if they're really insisting on dinner oftentimes that's a girl that's just trying to use the guy any girl that's too good for a coffee or too good to just go get a drink is usually going to be a waste of time so i hope that was helpful and also just as a side note there were periods of time in the game many years back where i was completely broke and some of those periods were my most successful times in the game because you have more free time right if you're not working a full-time job you have more free time if you don't have a lot of things going on at that time in your life in order to make money that gives you extra time to go on dates right so as long as you can still afford food and a place to stay then you know you're going to be able to date in abundance and the girls aren't going to care and they're not going to know either how much money you have get that out of your head watch my video on the end screen where i show there's a creator that's going over and over and over how you need to go get that bag and make that money and unless you do that you're not going to have access to any girls and i show why that's stupid and incorrect and I debunked that in that video. So watch that in the end screen. If you want to learn my optimal system, get on one of those free calls in the description. Make sure you let me know what you think about all this in the comments. Feel free to tell stories about situations you're in that involved money in the dating game. Make sure you like the video and subscribe if you're not yet a subscriber. And I'll see you guys on a video soon. Take care. Take a look at the scores. I put numbers up on the boards. I'm in a section with models, and you're at the bar trying to get out of cluster of fours. Fixed drama factor, I'm a boss tycoon. My dick smell like two chicks before noon.